Hey, 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 family. Hey, hey, hey. How y'all doing? So, um, I wanted to come while I had a, a quick break and I wanted to talk to you all about the importance of silence. And the reason that I want to discuss it, and you guys have seen me post about it before and I've um, spoken about this before, but I want to speak about the importance of the silence. And I want to talk about it because in this season, first of all, I've been experiencing this, but I've also received an influx in um, questions and messages and um, even doing some mentoring on the topic of just being still and withdrawing because we are such a busy um, generation, always moving, always doing something. And sometimes we equate being busy with actually accomplishing something. And sometimes we are so busy that we can't hear the voice of God over the voices of other people in our lives, over the voices of our schedules, over the voices of our commitments, over the voices of the pressure that we put on ourselves to do and be places and things that we don't have to pressure ourselves to do. Um, and I want to just kind of take some time to pour into you all about the importance of silence. So number one, when I say silence, what exactly do I mean? When I say silence, I mean the ability to step away from all of the different things that may be calling your name, all the different things that may be distracting you, all of the different things that you are pressured to do every day, all of the different voices that you may be listening to. It's very important that we learn how to step away sometime and shut the phone off, shut the text messages down, uh, get off of social media for a little while, and really just be with God. And the reason that that's so important is because since we are always doing something and we're so busy, there are times that we can't hear the voice of God because we are inundated with everything else around us and then what happens is we become frustrated because we're like god i'm seeking you for answers on something and i can't hear you lord i've been asking you about this why am i not hearing back from you and never taking the time to stop and realize you know what maybe i have too much noise going on so the importance of silence is priceless it's something that we so undervalue the ability to shut down and just be before God. And um, I know a couple of weeks ago, really for a little while I was doing this where I was kind of absent on here. And even more now, I am realizing that just because you are not posting all day every day or just because you are not present all day every day does not mean you're not effective. But I've learned that there are times where I have to steal away and really get with God and maybe work on something that I'm having a difficult time with, maybe really seek him on a matter, maybe even seek him on whatever it is that I want to speak about because we, we go, 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 and we never take the time to really disconnect and get with God. And what I love is Jesus was the perfect example of this. In Luke chapter 5, verse 16, it says Jesus would often withdraw himself and steal away into the wilderness to pray. And Jesus understood the importance of needing to sometimes steal away, go and be quiet and be still and renew. And especially to get away from his circle, right? Because how many of y'all know when stuff starts happening in life, the first thing we want to do is we want to run our circle. Girl, what should I do about this? What you think about this? And the reality is that we are so busy listening to other people that we are not hearing from God. So um, when I say be still and when I say withdraw and, and be silent, sometimes get off social media for a week or two. Sometimes uh, uh, take time to turn your phone off at an earlier hour in the evening and just spend that time praying. Um, take the time sometimes to turn your Netflix off or to um, take, take even a day to just not even take phone calls and text messages. Now, I do that. And it seems to frustrate a lot of people. But what we don't understand is that if we are constantly always pouring out and pouring out and making ourselves available to everything, at some point, we're going to start running on E. And when you start running on E, your flesh starts rising up. You get aggravated. You get to dealing with stuff that you haven't been dealing with, things that you've overcome, things that you have learned how to stop doing and things that you weren't so heavily dealing with. So it's so important 
that we learn how to step away from everything that's right brother tyson learn to step away from everything learn to put some things down learn to steal away and get by yourself and get silent and get away from your crowd get away from your group get away from social media get away from your phone and really take some time to be by yourself and say okay guy I'm trying to hear you and I'm having a hard time doing that. So I need to turn the TV off or I need to get off of Facebook for a week and I need to just kind of be to myself with you so that I can get through this thing or so that I can get hear from you what you're needing to get to me. Um, and I can say, y'all, there is really no better feeling than kind of disconnecting for a little bit, stepping away and having that time. Not only is it beneficial in your walk with God because it really helps you to grow in your intimacy with God. It helps to fine tune your hearing so that you can hear his voice more clearly. But just for you as a person, it is so nice to disconnect sometime and to just have that moment where you can breathe and where nobody's calling your name and the, and the phone is not ringing and you know, I think we're afraid that if we steal away sometime and if we put the phone down, that people are going to walk away from us. And the reality is, is that we spend more time neglecting ourselves for the benefit of others than we do paying attention to ourselves and taking care of ourselves because we are afraid of rejection. It's okay that you don't get to every phone call, every text message, every email. It's okay that you're not posting all day, every day. It's okay that you take you take time to step away and renew yourself. And so in this season where I have been um, really stepping away a lot more often and a lot more frequently and saying, okay, I kind of feel my flesh rising up or I feel myself getting irritated because a lot of y'all know I have been working so, so much for probably like the last three months now. I work typically 15 hour days most of the week if not the whole week and then I'm working some on the weekends so when you are that busy and when you're doing that much you can very easily get worn out and burnt out and if you don't take time to steal away just like Jesus did like Jesus was like listen I love all y'all I, I love to <laughs> I love to heal y'all and teach y'all and everything but in order for me to continue doing that and operating I got to take some time to steal away and pray and refresh and renew myself as well and refocus and some of us are so busy complaining about not hearing from God well I want to hear from God but the first thing you do when you have a problem is you go run to a person and it's like but when are you going to learn to steal away and get quiet stop soliciting the advice of people stop complaining about how you're not hearing from God and actually just be still and be quiet and listen and that's another thing um, another benefit of just being still and benefit of of being quiet is that if you're not hearing from God right the last thing you want to do is start constantly running to people and flooding yourself with all these other voices because you're already not hearing them right the first thing you want to do is you want to be still and you want to be quiet the importance of silence it's priceless sometime just getting to yourself with God and being silent and listening is exactly what you need and sometimes you're so busy talking and you're so busy complaining and griping and moaning and groaning and going to other people with your problems and whining to other people well how come you hearing from God maybe you should take some time to be silent and get with God and say okay Lord I'm not hearing from you but I need to so I'm gonna be still until I do if that mean I got to get off of Facebook for two weeks while I pray and meditate on your word so that I can hear from you I'm gonna do it if it means I have to stop answering my phone calls uh, for a day so that I can just be with you and be in your presence and hear from you I'm gonna do that and we are not big on making those sacrifices because like I said we're so afraid that if we don't answer the phone for a day we gonna lose somebody or we gonna lose a follower or we gonna lose a if they walk away from you because you're taking time to spend with God God, that's not somebody that needs to be in your life so the importance of silence is um, you know just so 
it's it's so priceless and it's so refreshing to just be still sometime and get away and spend that time with God. Um, I turn my phone off at a certain time most of the time unless I'm having a conversation with someone or unless I have a scheduled phone call or even if it's not off and I still respond to my text messages, maybe I stop answering my phone calls at a certain time. There are other times where I will take the whole day and put my phone on D&D and not answer phone calls, text messages, inboxes, because I know that I need to spend that time being silent. And when you take time, even for a season, to be silent, you would be amazed the things that you are able to receive from God, um, the instruction that you're able to receive from God, the clarity, the growth. So the importance of silence there's so much involved in it and the importance of silence is priceless like i said a million times because you would be surprised the things that god will do in your life just by you being still and being silent now being still and being silent doesn't mean just sit still and do nothing it means make an intentional effort to focus your time and your energy on God and build with you and him so that you can get closer to him and so that you can get the instruction that you're trying to receive or so you can um, maybe even go to the next level. I know um, earlier in the year, there was a moment where I had to really just kind of be still. And a lot of people were like, well, I haven't seen you on Facebook. You haven't been on YouTube. What's going on? And it's like, I'm trying to go to the next level, which means I need instruction from God. I need growth in some areas. And in order to do that, I have to be silent. So I was getting up, going to work every day and doing my job, but I wasn't on social media like that, or I wasn't answering my phone like that. And in that time, I received so much from God and it was such a um, an awesome time because it really was just about the intimacy between he and I. And so if you take the time to be silent and get before God and really work on cultivating your relationship with him, then you'll be amazed the things that you are able to um, receive from him in that time. So I know this was kind of long and I'm kind of all over the place, but I know that it's for whoever God intended to hear it today because it's very important to learn how to just be silent sometime to just be still and be quiet and don't feel so pressured to be pulled in all these different directions and to be everything to everybody all the time it's important to learn to be silent sometimes to learn to be still to withdraw and to pull away and disconnect for a time so that you can be with God working on what you need to work on and waiting on what you need to be waiting on I love you guys thanks for spending time with me on my little break today and I will talk to you all later